Welcome to Mysteries, Myths, and Legends. I'm Taylor. I'm Savannah. And happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Woo-hoo. It's the best day of the week. Not really, <laughs> but it it's has... It's the best day just because this yeah. show is out. Exactly. It has exactly. Wednesday has sentimental meaning to me and Savannah, so mm-hmm. that's yeah. all that matters. <laughs> okay, so I have some life updates this week. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. I have no idea. to bring topics. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Okay, first thing, you're, I, I think I've already told you this, but I've been doing yoga every morning. Yes. Recently. Yes, how's and that going? can you believe I've been doing it before 7 a.m.? No. Could, <laughs> no, Savannah, no. It could never because, be me. No, because I have to wake up early for work, so I have to do it, like, super early. Dude, why don't you do but it at night? honestly... No, I'm way too tired. <laughs> Sometimes I do it both, but... Yeah, true. You've inspired me. I'm gonna do yoga after this. Oh, honestly, you should. No, I honestly... I already decided that I was, actually, but... <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> but is it, like, um, helping you? Yeah, honestly. It's Ooh. just, like... It's, like, mindfulness, I guess, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like breathing and... Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, for sure. I feel like that would really honestly help me, not only just in general, but like wake up in the morning. But instead, I choose um, waking up at 8.30 when I have to be at work at 9 and then rushing. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, so you always like send me a message at like early in the morning <laughs> and I'm already at work. I know. Me just rolling out <laughs> of bed like, and you're already up. there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a struggle. All right. I have... <laughs> A few other things I wrote down. Oh, I have oh, some too. Okay, so I've ahead. been getting into like playing Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> so Gamer. me and Garrett like made a realm together, mm-hmm. I guess. And I was in it like by myself for the first time the other day. <laughs> and I almost died like three times. <laughs> Wait, you can die? I've never played Minecraft. Yeah, because you play like survival mode and then oh. these things come out and attack you. <laughs> and usually he's there and he's just like to kill them all for yeah. me, but I almost died. <laughs> and you, I almost are you bad? Like, in a lake. I almost drowned in a lake. <laughs> are you so. bad at Minecraft? I'm okay at it. Are you a fake gamer? <laughs> I'm trying to be a gamer girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real gamer, but I never have time to game, and it makes me really sad. <laughs> but you gotta join me. Yeah, I know. Minecraft. I don't have Minecraft, though. Like, what do you <laughs> play it on? I play it on my Switch. <sighs> Savannah, don't even talk to me about a Switch. <laughs> I'm getting one. Whenever we hit that tax return at oh, Joe definitely. Biden, um, please send yeah. me my 1400 because I need to switch <laughs> so I can play Minecraft with Savannah, my friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I have something that I have honestly been meaning to say literally since episode one, but here we okay. are. Um, seven weeks later, six episodes later. Also, it's episode six. Crazy. Anyway, um... What I was going to say from the very first episode was shout out to my man's Esteban on the app called Fiverr. I forgot about this too. (laughs) (laughs) I know. Okay, so Esteban, I like hit him up on this this app called Fiverr, which I found like off of YouTube videos where you can like pay people to do like whatever you want them to do. I'm sure people remember that. I'm sure. That was like a thing. People would like pay people on Fiverr to like do random things. But (laughs) So when we like decided we were going to do this podcast, we were like, okay, like we don't want to pay for a lot of things because we're poor, but like we do need, like if we're going to pay for something, it needs to be like a really cool theme song. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. We, I was just like, let's just try it. Like I got on Fiverr and just found like the top rated guy, Esteban, my boy, and just like hit him up. He was like, message me with what you want. He like had like a set price and we were like, all right, you can just like split it, whatever. And like, I told him what I wanted. I wanted like, you know, the intro, the outro. And he literally just he was like, okay, send me YouTube videos of inspiration. So we, like, pulled some out of nowhere. Yeah, we, we, like, found the most <laughs> random ones, and then he just put it together, and we were like, wow, this is actually we like, it's perfect. so us. Literally, <laughs> I wish y'all could understand that I scream sing <laughs> our <laughs> intro and outro, like, every time it plays. I'm so ready. I'm there yeah. for it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, my God. You've been wanting to, like, thank him every time. <laughs> I know. I always forget. I always forget. Yeah. And then until it's over, and then I'm like, oh. No, Esteban. So shout out to Esteban. If you need music, go hit him up on Fiverr. Yeah, I'm glad we finally recognized him. <laughs> I know. Thank goodness. Okay, so I have another shout out actually. Ooh, shout out time. Um, my mom has a Etsy page that Ooh. she wanted me to shout out. Shout out to um, Anna's mom. 
It's called Luxie and Luna, and it, she got, sells, like, mugs, and, um, it's mostly that, and, like, she has, like, new shot glasses and, like, cups. With yeah, I was gonna say, like, stuff. cups. But she was saying that she's, she wants to make, like, merch for us. Oh, sponsorship <laughs> mug. Yeah, she said, she said she'll make us merch, and she'll give us a code, so we can oh, shout out the snap. code, okay. and you guys can get some money off and buy something what? that has okay. a, something on it that's crazy <laughs> but in all honesty actually like savannah's mom kills these designs like actually like she's yeah. made me things love them all of her things <laughs> either cute hilarious or both like love literally love so check it out on etsy shout out yeah i like actually okay she has a lot of tumblers that's what i was like forgetting yeah, was, like, what tumblers. does she make um yes. tumblers like with the straws and yeah mm -hmm. and yeah, so we'll put that link there. Um, yes. I think that's it for the beginning. Yeah, that's all I have. Oh, one more last thing. Um, we got okay. Assistant Juge in the room. Ooh, he is, okay. once again, sleeping on the job. So, well, you might have to fire him. <laughs> but no, honestly, he does a great job. So. I think that's better than him just, like, being <laughs> reckless, you know? That's accurate. He loves and to sit on my desk. Off the desk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm so excited to figure out what you're doing this week because we don't know and I just need to know. It's something that eats away at me <laughs> until every Wednesday literally eats away at me. Like, what okay, is Savannah well, doing? <laughs> so to start this one off, I have to give another shout out to shout out to my youngest sister, Adriana. Adriana! She gave me this idea. Um, shout out to Adriana. I love her. <laughs> yeah, I have three younger siblings and she's the youngest. She's 12 and she gave me this idea. Um, she actually made a whole presentation about it a few weeks ago, like, on our, I think it was the week of our first episode, she was, like, inspired, she's like, ooh, I wanna, like, do a story, so she, like, made a slideshow of it and everything. What? Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah, I love that like, so much. And then I was like, okay, what should I do? She's like, oh, do this one. Wow. Like, All right, you're right. I am <laughs> proposing that we have Adriana as a guest one time. Honestly, I think she wants to. Adriana, hit me <laughs> up if you want to do that. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Okay, so this is the Boston Bridge train wreck. Have Ooh. you ever heard of it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, so it's a North Carolina story. Okay, how have I not heard of it? Um, but you and Adriana it's, have. <laughs> it's around Statesville. Okay, I know where that so, is. So like, yeah, it's kind of close to here. Yeah, that's not of. far away from Winston at all. <clears throat> all right, so it happened a really long time ago, the original train wreck, um, in August 27th, 1891. Oh, wow. Um, a train left Statesville, North Carolina, at 2.30 in the morning, and they were going to Asheville. Mm -hmm. It was 34 minutes late, so they were traveling a little bit faster than they would have, so it was like 35 to 40 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. um, That's so to, slow. Like, make up time. I know, but like <laughs> trains, I guess. Yeah, I've never been on a train, so I would not know. <laughs> You've never been on a train? No. Yeah, I'm so serious. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on so many trains, Taylor. That's, what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like I've been at, like actually no, that's a lie. I've been to the um, Tweetsy Railroad, so I've been like, oh, no, it's not a real train though, <laughs> not really. Oh my god, no, I've been on Amtrak and like, yeah, I've always wanted to city trains and like, mm -hmm. oh my god, and my my grandpa used to work for Amtrak. No way. Which is like, yeah, so uh, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm yeah. familiar with trains. I'm on <laughs> <laughs> train sidetrack aside <laughs> yeah but that was okay so that was like pretty fast for trains of the time because it was 1891 yeah true <laughs> um they were around they were only like two miles from the station so like less than five minutes away when no. they got to boston bridge no. and the train jumped the tracks okay that's literally so scary <laughs> I no, know. no and way. People were like saying because it's it was going faster, you know, and then yeah. it just like jumped the tracks and flew over the bridge, um, into the water below, which was Third Creek. Mm. Um, the bridge was sixty feet tall, and the train flew one hundred and fifty three feet wow. from where it left the track. So that is horrifying. It's pretty, yeah. Um, there it was carrying seven train cars. Mm -hmm. Um, some of them I think were empty, but that's good yeah. at least. Yeah. Um, but the engine exploded upon impact. Oh, so wow. there's that. that. There's that. But... Um, some people were able to get out. Um, and they were like, 
fine, maybe maybe like a little bit injured, but mm -hmm. some were not so lucky, mm -hmm. and 23 people died. Oh, that's in so the train horrible. Wreck. Yeah. And um, they were so, so close. I, well, no, 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 they just left. Oh, 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 that well, that's even worse. Yeah, it's even worse because they were they were on their way to Asheville. They left. They were. I thought you meant you were. I thought you meant they were from, two miles from like the Asheville station. Wow, that's so sad. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I worded it weird, but yeah, they were they literally left wow. five minutes away from where <laughs> they le yeah. Um, so since they were so close, they could like some of them walked back to Statesville to get help, which <laughs> wow. is good because like the, they're yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Like they're... yeah, <laughs> it's crazy um, that people like could walk back after that. Like I know. Well, I mean, you kind of had to. Like, they didn't have cell phones to call people. I know, but like, they just, like, flew off a bridge. I know! <laughs> yeah. It's pretty crazy. Um, so, when they finally got to Statesville, like, people ended up coming to save them and everything. But they couldn't bring the injured or um, dead people to a hospital or even a... There was no morgue either because the town was so small mm -hmm. so the injured people just went to private homes and what? like hotels. yeah isn't that crazy i read that i was like wow that's the times were so different now. that was so yeah i mean i was so like statesville still pretty small <clears throat> yeah it, relatively i mean they probably have a hospital now though well right? they definitely have a hospital <laughs> <laughs> yeah and Okay, and it said they didn't have a morgue either, so the dead were taken to a tobacco warehouse to be identified. Wow. And it's like, that's honestly so North Carolina. That is <laughs> the most North Carolina thing I've ever heard in my life. That's, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, this was one of the worst railroad disasters in North Carolina history. Yeah, I Which, bet. I mean, I guess probably there haven't been that many, but still, yeah. like, it was it seems pretty bad. Yeah. Um, so people were like trying to figure out why the train even jumped the tracks. Like, yeah, it could have been because they were going too fast, but like usually because they were going they so still... fast in quotation marks because thirty five miles an hour is so slow. <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't know if they like turned a corner though, or I don't know. True, they could have just yeeted a little yeah, bit too hard that's basically what they did um <laughs> but later it was discovered that spikes had been removed from the rails which like what i guess keep the train down you know yeah keep them on the rail so somebody was trying to throw yeah the train i guess over? somebody took them off i don't yeah hmm. Conspiracy um, so theory. that could have caused it or it could have just been like poor maintenance so yeah true the ties could have been like rotted or something I don't know how old the train That's I was going to say at that point though. Like I know? don't even know like when trains were invented but <laughs> <laughs> okay, invented a while ago. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these things. I think I want to say the beginning of the 1800s. I don't know. I don't want to sound stupid. Yeah. No, I have absolutely <laughs> no idea. That's why I was like trains are new. This would be new. I have no clue. Yeah. I don't know. They have trains in. Have you ever seen Back to the Future yeah. Part Three? Yeah. With the Wild West. They well, have maybe I haven't there. seen. That I don't one. know. <laughs> oh, okay. I actually don't know. I, did, I don't <laughs> even think that I knew that there were three. Oh, well, they're like my favorite movies, so <laughs> I. <laughs> I knew there were two. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, <laughs> I I just like thought of it because it's like seems about. Yeah. The same time. How now, reliable is not. Back to the Future as a <laughs> reference, though? I mean, it's not. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, so the Richmond and Danville Railroad, which is like, the, it was their train that jumped the tracks. Yeah. Um, they offered $10,000 reward for anybody who could solve the mystery of like oh. how it jumped the tracks. Ooh. But I don't think that was ever given to anybody. Sad. Yeah. Um, and in 1897, two men in the state penitentiary, they, apparently they confessed to removing the rail ties, or mm. removing the spikes from the rails. Was and they were convicted 
of doing it. But, like, I don't know if... I mean, they didn't really have any evidence. Here's the thing. When <laughs> people, really just... when people like admit to things while they're in jail, I feel like they're just trying to get attention. It, yeah, like you're already in jail. Too. Why are you trying like, to stay I mean, longer? Exactly. Like, I, I don't think they did it. Yeah, no, I don't believe that. And especially because things that I read said uh, their confessions were just to other prisoners. Oh. Like what? <laughs> and they still got convicted for it. That's crazy. <laughs> Like, they were really just putting people away yeah. <laughs> in 1897. Yeah. <laughs> they were right. Anyways. Okay. So that's the main story, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and let's jump ahead 50 years later. Okay. So this is 50 years later on the anniversary of the Uh-oh. train jumping the tracks and, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So in 1941, um, a woman, she was sitting on the side of the road because her husband was going to get somebody to help them with a flat tire. Yeah. So she was just there by herself. Um, and she was like looking at the train bridge and she, cause she heard a train coming and everything and it was going pretty fast and ended up jumping the tracks and falling into the water below. Tell so. me that is a ghost train. <laughs> well. <laughs> ghost train. Ghost train. <laughs> okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so it was basically like, I guess she was on the road and then the train bridge is like across the river from her or something, you know? Oh, yeah. Like far. Yeah, so that's the that's the picture I'm getting. Um, then she she freaked out, obviously. She's like, oh my god, all these people are like, they need help. So she ran to go get her husband, and he was, like, already driving on his way back. So he's like, okay, where where's this train? Did it really just crash into this river? And they go back, and the train's not there. Ghost train! I knew it. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and they, they even went back to the train station to ask if there was a crash that day. And... They said no. Somebody was like, no, but they 50 like, years ago. Exactly. No, literally, that's what happened. And she fainted, of course. <laughs> of course, what, I would faint. That's what they do yes. <laughs> in 1941. Oh, for sure. Um, so, yeah, ghost train. That's what I have written here in all caps. Dude, ghost train. <laughs> I'm getting ghost train tattooed on my body. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to go ride the ghost train. That's the only train you'll ever be on. Heck, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the ghost train is said to come back on the anniversary every year since that. Dude, can we please um, go on the anniversary? <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to see a ghost train so bad. Yeah, <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Um, you can hear the whistles and, like, you could even see the train crash just like the woman did Whoa. who was waiting for her husband. Um, but it is pretty dangerous to go because it's still like an active railroad so you don't want to actually be on the tracks or anything oh yeah definitely not one time I'm, i was on the train tracks and the train oh came i had to run so fast i'm so oh, serious my god that's i'm that's actually one of my fears it like, was really scary you always say that to me like oh that's one of my fears no taylor trains <laughs> like actually no i know i was scared for my life when there's a train oh my god yeah actually you've probably seen it so there's like a mural of mac miller in greensboro a lot of people go and take pictures of it oh, yeah, yeah. and so, like, somebody told us where it was. Well, they didn't tell us what we all had to do to get to this location. It's literally mm. on train tracks. Oh, no. Like, up, and the building is, like, so close. I literally don't know how the trains don't hit it. But, yeah, anyway, I had to oh run from the train that was coming to get up oh there. Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad you're safe. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, so this next part of the story is, kind of has to do with what we were just talking about. Mm-hmm. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Um, so on the anniversary in 2010, so this is now 119 years after the first event, um, 12 people were out looking for the ghost train, ghost hunters, um, they were on the tracks and they heard a whistle and they're like, oh, it's a ghost train. Why were they on the tracks? I don't know. (laughs) That's so sad. Um, and apparently I read, okay, so I read like, how do you even get to these tracks? Because it's not like you can walk on the road. It's... Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you know. it's like over water, first of all. Yeah, but there's also, like, there's grass and stuff behind it. So on one side, it's 
I guess, a hill. Yeah, I need to see a picture of this. Yeah, I. I'm looking it up right now. Okay, but keep Uh, our Instagram to see them. So I guess these and like to get there, you have to go through like people's land and stuff. Oh. And go through all these like bushes and prickles and all these things. Like (laughs) it's not a fun thing. Like you can it be better to just stand on the road far away and see it Mm -hmm. but these people want to go up close obviously okay tell me why okay i'm looking at pictures now and Mm. i was expecting it to be a a, like much bigger than what i thought (laughs) oh yeah it's but this makes a lot more sense yeah i just meant like width wise i expected it to be like a mile (laughs) not like this but anyway continue Okay, so these people who were out looking for the ghost train, um, they heard it coming and everything, and they went out there, and I think probably, like, three of them were on the tracks, and this 29-year-old man, he, like, pushed his girlfriend out of the way, because they're like, oh my god, this is the actual train, and so two of them were pushed off the track and just injured, and... One person died. Off the top of the track? Well, I guess they were pushed back into the grass or something. I oh, don't know. okay. I don't know. It's just wow. that they were injured. That's... But oh. Somebody died. That's horrible. Yes. And it was somebody who was pushing their girlfriend out of the way That's, to that breaks my save heart. her. Yeah. It's really sad. Mm. Okay, so, update. If you go, don't stand on the freaking tracks. Yeah, do not. Train tracks just scare me so much. Yeah. Never stand on the train tracks. Big facts. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's actually because my grandpa was a Amtrak worker or not, because, like, I always had all these train safety things, like railroad safety. Yeah. And No, I feel like that's common. I think trains like, are really dangerous. Yeah. And, like, behind my grandparents' house, there's train tracks back there. Mm-hmm. There's some behind my house in Winston. Are there really? Mm-hmm. Not, like, directly, directly, but oh. very, well, very close. there was literally right behind Oh, his. that's wild. Yeah, like, right behind their house. Wow. Like, we could go out there and watch the train go by, and what? it's, like, right there. <laughs> wow. It's kind of cool. That is cool. Um, yes, yeah, so that's... Pretty much all I have, except this year marks 130 years. Savannah. Since. What day was the crash? August. Um, Savannah, we're going for my birthday. <laughs> August 27th. Dude, can we please go? <laughs> I'm actually being serious. Okay, actually, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, we can not go on the bridge. We can stand far. We can go. We can just, like, no. find the creek and walk from the creek. But then, what if we see a ghost train and we're, like, standing at the bottom and it's, like, crashing on us? <gasps> Oh Dude, God. I'm actually, if I was to see a ghost train, that would probably change my life forever. You think? <laughs> probably. Okay, but do you think the people are on the ghost train, or is it just... Like ghosts on the ghost train? Yeah. I mean, probably. I mean, that would make sense. Who's driving the ghost train? The ghost train can't drive itself. Well, I mean, it probably could. <laughs> I don't know anything <laughs> about ghost trains, so you're right. <laughs> hey, Juju, plan us a trip for August 27th. We're going to the bridge. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, I mean, it would be kind of cool to see it. (laughs) I feel like that one is, like, a more feasible thing that we could do that's still, like, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Definitely. Because it's it's pretty close. Yeah, definitely. So, yes, that is the Boston Bridge train wreck slash the ghost train of North Carolina. That's really crazy. I really don't think I've ever heard of that story, which is wild. Now you have. Now I have, and now all I want in my life is to see a ghost train. Like, I'm oh my God. being so, so serious. That actually, okay, I always try to tie these back into, like, what kind of campfire story would this be? Mm-hmm. Just imagine, like, being camping, like, outside, and you hear, you hear a train, train for some I reason. Know. And then you're, like, telling somebody, like, the kids near you or something, like, oh, that's the ghost that's train. That's the ghost train. Dude, and they would believe it. Story. They would yeah, exactly. It <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, this week, I, oh, I'm so excited for this. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I am doing The Legend of the Winchester Mansion. Have you ever heard that? Oh my god, yes! (laughs) I, oh my god, you're doing The Winchester Mansion. Dude, this story is like one of my favorites of all time. (laughs) And I completely forgot about it. Literally until the other day. I came home from work, and my roommate, Dina, was like, 
let's watch this movie that somebody told me about. I was like, okay. And it starts playing. And I'm like, wait, I know this story. I've like seen this movie. And then <laughs> then I realized once it was about, I was like, oh no, I've never seen this movie, but I know this story and it's crazy. What and, was the movie? Oh, it's called Winchester. It's on Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like the movie that they made about this story and it like really popularized the story. Because oh. obviously okay. based on All the story. All I can think of when you keep saying Winchester is Supernatural. <laughs> okay. I've never seen Supernatural like all the way through or anything. I've seen uh-huh. episodes. But when I was like researching for this, I was like looking up a family line. Bro, the Supernatural family line. I was like, I don't care about this TV show. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Dean Winchester. Okay, I used to be a little <laughs> bit obsessed with Supernatural. <laughs> I don't know how I never got into it. I just think, like, the amount of seasons, like, really scares me. Yeah, see, I I would say don't get into it. If- <laughs> yeah. My brother's, like, watching it all the way through, and I'm just yeah. like, mm. shout out to Josh, my brother, yeah. who I was recently informed that he listens to every episode, so. Oh. Josh, if you listen Hi. to this episode, the code word is, um, goldfish, and I need you to tell me that, because <laughs> I need the proof that you listen. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Um, I don't know where the heck we got off on that tangent, but the Winchester Wait, mystery Wait, Adriana house. listens to every episode, too, so Adriana. Yeah, um, Adriana, the um, code word is the code goldfish. Is goldfish, so. anyways. <laughs> okay, so, um, the Winchester Mansion is also known as the Winchester Mystery House. So, mm-hmm. this mansion is located in San Jose, California, and was the house of Sarah Winchester. So, these names mean nothing. But (laughs) Sarah was the widow of William Winchester, whose parents created the Winchester Repeating Arms Company, which Mm -hmm. makes the Winchester rifles. You know, guns. Yes. So, I had to do a lot of research because I had absolutely no idea about any of this. (laughs) So, basically... um, Okay. The first. I think I heard about this on, and that's where we drink. Oh, did they say it, tell this? Yeah, I think I remember. Maybe, some of maybe it that's where that. I heard it from. Shout out to and that's why we drink. That's such a good podcast. Yes, um, definitely. Um, okay. So okay, back to the Winchester rifle. So, um, specifically. One, the Winchester repeating rifle, which means, like, it was more than one shot gun, oh, um, okay. was made in 1866, and this was, like, the most popular gun because, like, everybody wanted, like, I don't know, the accuracy of a rifle, but wanted more than one shot because, mm-hmm. you know, no one shot kills here. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, in all the wars after um, the Civil War, which just ended when this gun was made, these guns are still used. Even in World War II, even now, these guns are still, like, yeah. Like, I mean, obviously newer versions, but yeah. it's, like, the most famous gun, I guess. Yeah, it's, like, super big, super popular. And, um, so, okay, so obviously this family was super rich. Duh. Mm -hmm. America, guns, if you make that, you're rich. definitely. And, like, they had to deal with, like, the military for all the wars. So, like, rich, rich, rich. And this is in the 1800s, so... Um, <clears throat> oh, just like my story. Yeah, I know. When you said that, I was like, whoa. <laughs> we always <laughs> do that. But, um, sadly... So, you know, William, Sarah, they were married. They were in love. And um, they had a daughter. Her name was Annie. And But in 1881, William died of tuberculosis. Sadly. Oh, honestly, okay. Why does everybody. that always happen? <laughs> Literally everybody died of tuberculosis. <laughs> tuberculosis was just such a big thing that it really was. sucks. It I really does. Hated and apparently, <laughs> like, he killed. died, like, from tuberculosis, but in, like, a horrible, like, way. Like, it wasn't quick. It was just, like, really, oh. it was just horrible, and she had to watch That's it. Awful. Yeah. But good for Sarah. Well, not really, but good for Sarah. <laughs> she inherited $543 million in today's money. Okay, see... That's a lot. I I mean, I don't know. I would have got over it after, like, a year, you know? Oh, for sure. I would have got over it <laughs> a day for five, over $500 million, <laughs> day, sure? girl. No, I'm playing. I'm kidding. And But she also... Not only did she receive all that money, she also received a huge share in the Winchester company. So, she was rich, rich, and she was getting paid $1,000 per day 
back in that oh time. Do you want to know how much money a thousand dollars a day is worth today? Oh my god, twenty six thousand dollars a day, bro. A day. Do you know what I would do with that? I don't even know what I would do with that. Okay, was she like the Jeff Bezos of that time? <laughs> Honestly, no. Seriously, like seriously. really, who like, was making more money than that? Like actually, nobody was making more money than that. <laughs> Very That's few people. Insane. Right. So just for doing nothing. For literally doing nothing. For marrying. For being married. For being married. To it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. And so it sounds really good right goals. now. We're sa- we're saying goals, but it's really about to turn around and be absolutely not goals. Oh, because no. <laughs> um but before I get to that, so only literally like a little bit over a year after William died, Annie, their kid, their little baby girl, died mm-hmm. of marasmus, which is like a kid's disease where the child's body just very slowly wastes away and like starves what? itself. I've never heard of that. Is I, that still around? I don't think so. I don't actually know, but I've definitely That's heard of crazy. it. Crazy. Yeah. Huh. And so, also, I like didn't do much research into this, but everybody else in the Winchester family had died. Uh, oh my god. And so, after she okay. like watched her husband and her kid and everybody else in his family die horrible deaths, even though like they were explainable, but they were so yeah. they were all horrible. None of them died like oh peacefully in their sleep. No, none of them. Okay, is that just karma for making a gun? Maybe. <laughs> Honestly, maybe. Like, okay. <laughs> but, okay, so after they died, she was, like, very progressive in the 1800s. She decided to go see a psychic medium to try to communicate with them because she was sad mm-hmm. and alone. <laughs> so, back then, obviously, this was not, like, common or seen mm-hmm. as a normal thing to do, like, going to see yeah. a medium. Um, obviously today is more accepted, but people were like, they didn't really know about this, but the people who did were like, um, what is this girl Sarah doing? But (laughs) supposedly the psychic that she went and saw did get in touch with William and he had a lot to say (laughs) when he was talking through the medium. Um, she said that William was telling Sarah that she needed to leave her home and travel out West because they lived somewhere in the East, don't know where, but (laughs) that she needed to go out West and continue to build a home for herself and the spirits who had fallen victim to the Winchester rifles. Oh. And specifically, he mentioned that she should never stop building. Oh, my God. And, you know, she didn't really question it. I don't know why she didn't question it, but she was like, oh, yep, you're right, Willie, Willie boy. Let me just move and never stop building. Because she moved to Santa Clara Valley, California, San Jose, and started building her mansion. And never stop building her mansion. Okay, but is that what he meant? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I kind of like, do he think mean, so. Did he mean, like, build other things? Or did he just mean, like, I think keep, I think he meant keep this keep... under construction at all times? Because, like, I... <laughs> I feel like I would take that as build a lot of things and don't stop making other th- You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, apparently it went into very good detail. <laughs> Like, he was, okay, like, okay. construction on the house needs to continue. See, that, that's crazy. Yeah, because the um, medium also said, like, through him, that the Winchester family is cursed by the people who have been killed by the rifles. So. Oh, jeez. Okay. They're like, we're that's cursed. Crazy. And so you need to keep building. And she was like, I don't understand, but okay. Hmm. <laughs> I won't question right, this. kind of that kind of makes sense, I guess. I mean, I guess. Like, <laughs> Hmm. So, when she moved out there, she started building. And she built a seven-story mansion. Seven stories. This is a house. This is one single house. And it's seven stories. Um, One day, like, Sarah just hired builders. And they came and they never left. And they stayed and they built. I mean, obviously, you know, some came and went. But, like, Mm -hmm. once the builders came, they did not leave, ever. Um, Seriously? They just, like, kept... Did they have places to sleep at? Well, I guess it's a They, like, took story. shifts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they took shifts, but, like... No, they didn't stay at the house. No. Oh, okay. No, they had to go home <laughs> when their shift was over, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah. But they would build, like... When I say they kept building, I mean they kept building. They would just build rooms and secret passageways and windows and stairs that led to nothing. And just... Ab- she, Sarah wanted absolute nonsense. She wanted the house to not make sense at all. She literally had secret path- pathways that would lead from closets to, like, her bedroom. And it was just, like, crazy. Uh, wait, that's kind of cool, though. 
Like, oh, it's cool. Would be fun. It would be fun. <laughs> it would a bunch be so of secret fun. tunnels and stuff. <laughs> right. I would. Oh, I would love that. Um, <laughs> so at the turn of the century, 1900s, the mansion had 161 rooms, 47 fireplaces, two basements. How is that even possible? Don't know. And okay, in California, wait, Taylor. What? I'm gonna stop you right there because one of the houses I lived in had two basements. Um, what does that even mean? <laughs> Will you please explain to me? All right, all right, I'll explain it real quick. <laughs> so, it, okay, so there was an original house built there, and then we like knocked that one down, yeah. and they built another one on top, right? Mm-hmm. So we had the old basement from the old house, right? Yeah. And then the house we built on top of it was bigger. Yeah. So they built another basement. And didn't connect them. Okay, so, so they're not connected. Two. That that was my question. <laughs> so there was connected. like an old, the old house basement and the new house basement. Well, that's okay. It was kind of weird. That's but very we, weird. Yeah, we had two basements. <laughs> I really don't like that at all. And I think that is so weird. I don't even like one basement. <laughs> okay, the old one was really creepy, but the new one was kind of nice. Ooh, I hate I mean, basements. They were both kind of. <laughs> like basements actually are one of my fears. I have a lot of fears. In case you can't tell, I have a lot. <laughs> Yeah. But it's not definitely one of my biggest fears, but it's not something that I just like, you know, basements. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. Oh, anyway. Okay, so, and they also had three elevators. Extra. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> so, Wait, iCarly? iCarly who, honestly? iCarly had one elevator, but <laughs> I honestly, know, iCarly who? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the mansion is over 24,000 square feet. Dude, that is so hard oh to God. imagine. I mean, not everybody's going to get this, but my house that I live in now is 2,000. Dude, can you imagine 24,000? I can barely keep this house clean. That's, wait, I don't know how much my house is, but. Yeah, why only now? Because I don't know, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, oh my God. Would you want to live in a house that big? Or Absolutely that, like, not. Too much? Dude, I get scared in my house. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't like how big yeah. the house that I live in now is. Like, I could not yeah, imagine okay, you're 24. You're right. True. Because then, especially with all the ghosts trying to get her. Exactly. Like, like, you know how scary that would be? <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so so she built a seven-story huge mansion. But in 1940, a huge earthquake hit San Jose. And the mansion took a lot of damage. Like, it was real bad. Mm-hmm. So bad that, it. I mean, it didn't collapse fully. Thank goodness. But the top three floors were completely ruined. <laughs> so today, if you go to the mansion, it's only four floors. But it was at 1.7. Oh, wait, what? I don't know how it's possible. Okay. But I guess they hmm. build things, like, made for earthquakes, you know, in California. Yeah. Yeah, true. I think I've seen, like, a video, like, where they make it to where, like, if a floor has to fall, it's going to be, like, the top instead of the bottom. When did it, like, when did they fall <laughs> the three floors. When did they wait, when did they fall? <laughs> 1940. Okay, and it was, was like built ask... in like the, ni- in the like, very early 1900s. Okay. Cuz I was going to ask like why didn't they just rebuild them if they're like constantly building? But, well, okay. yeah. Well, I mean they yeah. they kept building, but I think they were worried for bigger earthquakes. They but right. so they expanded like the other way, <laughs> wide mm-hmm. okay, instead of okay. tall. Yeah. So um so, for years and years, people are just, like, questioning, like, Sarah, what are you doing, lady? I mean, when I say never stop building, I'm talking 24-7. There were always people building on the house. Is that not annoying? That had to be so loud. Yeah. yeah. So annoying. I mean, okay, but then she'll have people around all the time. Like, she doesn't have True. a family. True. That probably also played a part in it, I would say. Maybe. Yeah. But for the most part. Like, Sarah, I would be so lonely, especially in that huge oh, house. But for sure. For sure. But also, she's making it bigger. So, (laughs) Mm -hmm. but um, Sarah believed, fully believed, that she was haunted and cursed because of the Winchester rifles. Mm -hmm. Um, So, we'll start with the curse. I mean, they both are kind of one and the same, but um, I already said it, but um, everyone in the Winchester (laughs) family died horrible, gruesome deaths. Yeah. And so, that the curse was from all the people who had died from the gun on the family, which honestly... Doesn't wouldn't really surprise me that bad, cause, I mean, guns are evil, you know. I know. Yeah, so. like they. they like, I mean, it's literally like a death machine. People. Yeah, like that's the purpose. Guns so. kind of scare me a little bit. Oh, gun, mean, guns I'm scare me a lot. I fear of it a little bit, but I, they they kind of scare me. Oh no, <laughs> guns scare me really bad. One of my greatest fears, actually. 
So you, oh my God, Taylor, we need to. Can we go one episode without you saying it's one of my biggest? No, fears? dude, no. I have too many. We should start counting all the. We should make, make... a list of all of Taylor's fears. Yeah. <laughs> Juju, uh... write it down. <laughs> Dude, okay, Juju is being so bad. <laughs> Juju, <laughs> shout out. He's knocking over my um microphone, so we're gonna take a quick. Oh, that was him. Fake. <laughs> yeah, that was him. Juju being so bad. We're gonna take a quick fake sponsor break while I have to kick him out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we're back. Shout out to Juju for really messing that up for me. Um, I had to kick our assistant out because he was being a bad boy. So Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Sadly. He'll take notes from the hallway. Anywho. So, getting back to the story. Sarah, as I said before we cut, that she believed that she was cursed and haunted. But she apparently never came out publicly and said that her house was haunted. But all the construction workers who would, like be around constantly working on the house said that there would be regular visits from mediums and psychics in an effort to in quotations keep the spirit of the house in good spirits oh hmm. and like this is not coming from sarah this is coming from the people who are just like seeing what's going on around the house do they mean spirit in like a plural sense yeah or? i think so i think they were trying to say what they were not trying to say if you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> like yeah. they were like yeah so hmm. so um, as I already mentioned, the movie on Netflix, um, 10, honestly, 11 out of the 10. You need to watch it. It's scary, but it's really good. Um. Yeah, I need to watch it. What? Wait, you said it was on Netflix? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's called Winchester. And, I mean, sorry I gotta have spoilers because this is the story, but, um, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, so in the movie, I'm gonna say this because this is what is believed in, like, the legend of the story right right so but it's also what they did in the movie mm -hmm. so um in the movie they say that sarah can like the ghosts are talking through her like she's almost like a medium in a sense oh. and that the ghosts talk through her at night and can draw and write through her <gasps> and so the ghost like describe and have like draw out through her hands and in her mind the rooms that they died in and so that's what Sarah's building in the house is the rooms oh my God. that all these people have died in and that like they need to be in the room one more time so that they can like their spirit can move on. And so people guess that like that is what is actually happening because she's building these weird rooms that make mm -hmm. no sense that don't fit in with the layout. And then she like takes them down like eventually Wait, and that rebuilds. Wait, kind of makes sense because... Once they move on, she can make another room exactly. for somebody else. Exactly. <gasps> and I'm like, oh that's God. that gives me chills because, like, that yeah. is crazy if that's true. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. that's crazy. So, also, fun fact, known fun fact, is that, so there's 13 bathrooms in the house, but only one of them was functional because okay. they, all, they all used to work until the oh, ghost, okay, okay. the ghost like to play with the water spigots and turn oh. them on and like waste so much water and like overflow the water. So she made it okay. to where only one of them had running water so that they couldn't like mess her life up even more than they already were. Wait, so while she was living in it? Yes. <laughs> she only had one bathroom in her giant house. Yeah, I mean, it's only her though. So Can you imagine like, needs... okay. Did I guess she the workers. Use the whole house, or did she just like? I guess she probably just stayed in like a few rooms. No, 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 no. And then she it, did not. Okay, <laughs> imagine going from one side of the house and being like, "I really have to pee," and like have to <laughs> run all the way to the other side of the house. Well, I guess she did. This huge, that ginormous sucks. house. <laughs> so she would also sleep in a different room every night. To, oh to try to trick the ghost to not know where she was because she what? was like she couldn't sleep bro she they were annoying her they were they wouldn't leave her alone oh my god and she would also she built secret passageways so she could like sneak around and confuse the ghost and she would like go through a closet and suddenly she'd be in a different room like two floors down <laughs> like literally okay, that's still so cool like, it's so cool <laughs> it's so cool yeah like i want that in my house but oh also that's kind of scary <laughs> I mean, it's scary if you're the one, like, not knowing about it. Yeah, you know? accurate. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the construction went on 24-7 from the early, like, 18, late 1800s, early 1900s okay. until... In the middle of the night? In the middle of the night. 
All night. I didn't even think about that. All night, all morning, all day. How could she sleep with that? She I, got, I guess I she got used said, to it. You said she couldn't sleep because of the ghosts. <laughs> she can't sleep because of the construction. What? True. But if you think about it, like she could probably just sleep on the other side of the house, and that's like three streets away. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because, <laughs> like, the house is huge. That's the reason she was sleeping in different rooms. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, that's funny. <laughs> okay, but the construction kept going on until mm-hmm. September of 1922 when Sarah Winchester died of a heart failure. Oh, no. And fun fact, she died in her favorite bedroom. <gasps> now, I don't know which what? one that is, <laughs> but one of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. At least she died in her you favorite know, place. sometimes they say people, like, know they're going to yeah like definitely and she was old she was old she was like 89 or something like that like oh late God. 80s that's crazy yeah so hmm. but she didn't die in a horrible horrible way like everybody yeah. else oh my wait maybe the ghosts were like thankful for her Mm-hmm. so when she died literally immediately when they found out that she died they completely stopped working on the house the construction <gasps> workers went home and they did oh. not return never to oh return um she sarah left all of her belongings to her niece she did have a niece but it wasn't like it was like i don't know how they were related but far not by blood on the dad's side okay um yeah. like her one relative she left all her stuff to. yeah yeah okay. um the one that she had mm-hmm. and she was like super young so like okay you know um so she the her niece like took everything she wanted and then sold the rest in a private auction and um, but just like the furniture and stuff um mm-hmm. it took the mover six weeks working eight hours a day every day for six weeks to remove every single piece of furniture out of the house that's so much oh my god <laughs> that is so much <laughs> and but however sarah didn't put the house in her will at all the house nowhere oh, to be what? seen no so what happened to the house so appraisers like from the bank i guess met and considered it to be worthless because of all the damage from the earthquake had left like pretty bad like structural damage structural damage and Uh it's unfinished design and how weird it was built like when i tell you like they had doors that would open to nothing stairs that would lead to nowhere like wall like literally rooms that were like a maze that actually literally led to nowhere Okay. Like, who See, wants to live in this house, actually? Yeah. Not me. Yeah, true. So, it's like, it was it's worthless. It's probably, like, huge, but it's not, It's like, not nice. And it's, it's so <laughs> ugly, too. It's literally the ugliest house. Pictures on our Instagram, but it's so ugly. It looks like, it looks fake. It literally looks like it's a movie prop. And it's funny, because it is. But, um, <laughs> so what happened was, after the bank, like, deemed it, un, like, worthless, a local investor bought the mansion for only one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars that's so little that's oh so little God. to how much they spent on it yeah like the every amount day that she probably put into this yeah but oh all of her all of the money went to the house basically <laughs> so but the guy who bought it it was actually a couple they turned it into like a place for the public to visit and take tours and just to keep the history alive of what happened in the house so you Thank can you. go today <laughs> To the Winchester Mansion in California. Well, not well, not because of COVID, but <laughs> yeah, without COVID, yeah. Um, so all of the furniture that's in the house right now isn't the original furniture because they moved it out in the six weeks that it took them to move it out. But the house is exactly like the house and the walls and stuff is how it was left. So, oh my God. but there's also an unsolved mystery because <gasps> apparently, before Sarah died. She told somebody, I guess one of the workers, that there was a hidden room in the house that nobody would ever find filled with riches. Oh, oh my God. And so people be looking for this room. Huh, and there in, probably is. Mm-hmm. And in 2016, a secret attic was found. So <gasps> if you think about it, that's 100 years later. It took 100 years to find a secret attic. So I'm yeah. sure. So in the secret attic, um, they found a lot of things like an old pump organ, like the <laughs> instrument. <laughs> A couch, yeah, yeah, yeah. a huge, like, nice wedding dress, random, a bunch of random things that weren't really worth much money. But I'm just saying, like, if it took 100 years to find this attic, who's to say that there's not another secret room? Yeah, that's so interesting. Like, I want to go and try to find it. Like, can you just wander around this house? Or do you have to go, like, on yeah, tour? So, well, you have to go on a tour. But there you can pay, like, some more money to get more time and just to go wherever. But, yeah, all, almost all the rooms are unlocked. Well, all the rooms that they know 
where it is. That's so, crazy. yeah. Yeah. But I want to find it. Me too. <laughs> I want to find it so bad. Like that, what a fun game that would be in real life. Yes. It would feel like an escape room, but it's, like, real. I know. Scary. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Love and that. And get, like, money at the end. <laughs> yeah. Be rich. <laughs> but, sadly, it doesn't look like Sarah left behind, like, any journals or articles or anything, like, spilling her secrets anywhere. I guess she just died with them, which is just sad. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, But, yeah, ever since she died, there has not really been any ghost activity. Not really. I mean... People say, like, people that visit are like, ooh, I feel creepy mm-hmm. vibes, which I'm sure there are creepy vibes <laughs> there, yeah. just of how ugly Wait, it is. but you said, okay, you said that she, like, didn't leave any journals or anything. She probably just thought, like, oh, you can just do, like, a seance and I'll tell you. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Oh, my gosh. We need to go into a seance there. Because she, she, like, did this, right? Yeah. Like, every she, night. Yeah. See? <laughs> yeah. See? That's what she's thinking. She's like, the real the real ones The now. real ones will They're gonna talk get to me. In. Exactly. So I bet. I, I feel like people probably have tried to. Oh, they have. They have. We'll get to that in just a second. Oh, um, ooh, okay. Um, so, who knows, honestly. Mm-hmm. Maybe the family really was cursed, and when Sarah did all of that work to try to help these spirits move on, and that there was no more blood relations in, like, the Winchester line i guess like directly like that maybe she really did in the curse when she died because there's not like any more evidence that stuff's going on or maybe she had really bad mental diseases and went crazy and just had a lot of money to spend but honestly Mm -hmm. i don't know like maybe she was sad and lonely and rich or maybe personally there's no evidence to defend really either way but i really actually believe her like, she never really tried yeah. to, like, the thing about it is that makes it believable for me is that she never, like, publicly came out and was like, I am the woman who has the ghost house in the curse. Like, I'm building this oh, because of this. Like, yeah. the, people just saw that this was happening and talked to the builders who were building this and, like, kind of pieced it together. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So that's why I feel like yeah. it's true. Allegedly. Mm. But I will finish with a few fun facts. So, okay. as I mentioned earlier... The um movie Winchester is actually filmed at the Winchester Mansion, and oh my God. actually a lot of other movies are filmed there. I didn't look up which ones. Oh seriously? Yeah, apparently it's like a huge filming location because it like is literally so creepy. <laughs> like you just gotta see the pictures. But yeah, and it's I mean it's huge. Like what else are we gonna use it for? Okay, Might I've as well. heard about this before too. Like the the Winchester house, and I've still like I've never really seen it. Well, you're about to see it, and it's so ugly. <laughs> it's really, it looks, it's first of all red. The color scheme on the outside is, like, red, orange, and brown, and Ugh. gold. It's what? disgusting, and it looks like it's coming out of, like, I don't want to be, like, stereotypical, but, like, Germany. Like, if you just picture, like, a really German house that's, like, not actually what a German house looks okay. like, and red and gold and brown, mm. that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, but also, the Winchester house is Walt Disney's inspiration for the Haunted Mansion. Oh, oh my god mm-hmm. that sounds honestly that sounds so true because in the haunted mansion there are hidden rooms i know stuff. it's crazy I didn't even think about that me neither that's crazy and many a ghost tv show like ghost adventures have been to the winchester house to investigate and you know obviously they're like there we got an evp it said yeah, sarah yeah. but like <laughs> nothing nothing concrete really ever came out of it but does anything mm-hmm. ever concrete no yeah Um, and lastly the winchester mystery house was featured on the 100th episode of american horror story aka my favorite tv show so love that wait okay what season the last one that just came out what was it called um 1984 is that what it's called oh yeah oh yeah yeah yes so i don't remember did you watch it? Yeah, I don't remember either. I need to look it up. Is that the camp one? Yeah. Yeah. Because they were in California, so that's why. Oh, I feel like I kind of remember that. Mm-hmm. That's crazy that it was in so many things. I know. It's like, literally in everything. It's just like... And that's not even the whole list. And you don't even really... Exactly. It's like so deep embedded. And yeah. like, I don't, I didn't really know this full story. So, hmm. crazy now you do. The but... fact that like this whole thing just seems so like too crazy to be real but like right i also believe it i like i believe it. like it's insane like yeah. it's so unbelievable but i believe it mm-hmm. like it's the people <laughs> it's unbelievable but i believe it <laughs> but like it, it 
I really do. I feel like yeah. if it wasn't true, she would be trying way harder to get her story out there. Like, I, know, yeah. I don't know. I just yeah. like, like, if that was happening to me, first of all, I would tell everybody and nobody would believe me. There's no way I would keep it to myself and just hire secret builders to build rooms. No way. No way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Well, that's the Winchester Mystery House for you. Wow, that was so good. Crazy. I love it. You should really watch that movie. It's really good. It's I know scary, though. A little bit. <laughs> Got some jump okay. scares I for have you. To check it out. Mm hmm. <laughs> but yeah. Um, check out our Instagram because that's where we're going to post the pictures of yes, the bridge definitely. and the um, mystery house. Both yes. crazy. Both, I feel like this is like two, two stories that you really got to see the pictures for. Yeah, definitely. To really get yeah. the full, the full grasp. I know, because I didn't really get what I was talking no. about until I started like looking at the pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really needed to see that bridge to understand it. Yeah. <laughs> but I really want to go. Because. I know. I really want to go. All these places. Same. Oh, I'm going to the Winchester Mystery House. Like, I have to go. When I take... I haven't been to California ever. So, but when I go, that... It's, like, number one. Not really. It's, like, number yeah. five, but, like, it's up there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because I, I want to... I really want to just see what... It, I can't even imagine. I've seen pictures of it, but I can't... I literally can't not imagine <laughs> what it looks like. And the fact that it, that movie is actually filmed in the house... Like if you once you see the movie, you gotta come back to me, oh, <laughs> and we gotta have okay. a conversation because it's like All insane. Right. Maybe I'll try to watch it this week so I can talk about it next. <laughs> yes, week. intro topic for next week. Maybe, maybe. You, that's your homework, Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're giving me extra homework. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, the sources, as per usual, are gonna be below. Mm -hmm. Don't come for us. We cite our work. Oh, and check out um, Luxie and Luna on Etsy um, for cups and cups and such things. <laughs> <laughs> and let us know if you actually would buy some merch from us because um, heck yeah, we might try to come up with a cool design on yeah. some cups. We definitely I should. I think that would be cool. I think that would be very cool. I want merch. So, yeah. That's kind of all I got. Now I feel bad and I need to go give Juju a hug. Because I kicked him <laughs> out and I feel bad. Even though he was being horribly bad. <laughs> he deserved it. He honestly did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, well, bye. Okay, cue the music. <laughs>